in this session we would be learning about few more new concepts that have been introduced in Hadoop 2x cluster architecture. We have seen we have uh, uh, been introduced to some of the new processes such as resource manager and the known manager in 2x uh, cluster architecture. Now, in this session we will learn about two new concepts being introduced in 2x version. One is called as Hadoop federation, Hadoop federation and the second one is high availability, high availability. Now, Hadoop federation high availability. So, we will be looking very closely at in detail what is high availability and what is Hadoop federation. Now, when I say Hadoop federation, Hadoop federation talks about Hadoop federation talks about clearly separating namespace layer from block storage layer, namespace layer block storage layer or in other words of saying in Hadoop federation you can have more than one name node or you can have more than one namespace. Not only that with federation the concept of federation there is a kind of enhancement done for the architecture of HDFS where new use cases and new architectural enhancements have been implemented. So, when I say Hadoop federation in brief in brief you have to understand it is not the concept of one name node, but the concept of having more than one namespaces or the name, no, name nodes. The reason why we have to specify the number of name nodes is as, as we all know that in 1x version, 1x version of master and slave architecture of Hadoop, the concepts that we have learnt is that having one name node and different data nodes different data nodes. So, no matter how many number of data nodes that you have, we have only one name node being the master node. But whereas, in Hadoop federation which is in 2x version cluster architecture, we talk about the Hadoop federation in which we talk about more than having more than one name node or namespaces. Before that, first of all we will understand the contents, what do we have inside a name node. When I say name node, what do you have inside a name node? What do you have inside a name node? Inside a name node, we have the metadata. Inside a name node, we have the metadata. So, when I say metadata, inside a name node, we have a metadata. And what are the different components of metadata? What are the different components of metadata? Now, these different components of metadata can be categorized as namespace layer or metadata you may also say that it has two layers two layers inside a metadata again it is inside the name node on a cluster inside the name node on a cluster we have something called as namespace namespace layer namespace layer next one is block storage block storage layer namespace layer and block storage layer. Now, what do we have inside a namespace? What do we have inside a namespace? Inside a namespace we do have all the information pertaining to the blocks and folders where do the ex particular block or where does a particular file exist that information you do have on a namespace. So, inside a namespace what do you have? You have something called the information about the directories, directories or files that means, it manages the directories and files. Not only that the namespace layer is responsible for some of the file level operations such as creation, modification and deletion, deletion and also responsible for listing all the number of files and directories and of a in a cluster. So, namespace layer which actually manages you know the responsibility of a namespace layer is it has every information pertaining to your directories and files and also it does some of the file level operations such as creation, modification and deletions and also re responsible for listing 
the directories and files on a cluster. So, listing the directories and files on a listing directories <coughs> and files on a cluster. The second layer, this is you know a brief information about you know namespace layer which is a part of the metadata. Ne next is we have something called as block storage layer, we have something called as block storage layer. Now, this is again we have two more you know layers or two more parts when it come to block storage layer. So, we call one layer as block management, block management and the second one is called as physical storage, second one is called as physical storage block management and second one is called as physical storage. As the namespace layer has information about the directories and the files. Now, this block management is responsible is responsible for any information about the blocks on a cluster. So, if you want any info or info about blocks on a cluster and it is also this block management is also responsible for the number of replications that has to be done on a cluster. So, it is also responsible for replications, replications or information on replications. It also has some information on replications. So, it also takes care of replica placement, it also takes care of replica placement. Yes. So, this is inside a metadata. Now, when I say this is inside a metadata, this is inside a name node that you have inside a name node, inside a name node and this is a 1 x version of architecture uh, or any name node what are the different things that involved when it comes to metadata and the name node. So, metadata and also we have something called as generally say generally the contents of the metadata can be described something like this. So, every metadata every metadata now uh, we know that metadata is nothing but the data about the data we know that metadata is nothing but the data about the data in which we have of course, metadata when I say name node should come into picture metadata and the name node. Now, inside metadata we have something log called as edit logs, <coughs> edit logs and file system image f s image we call it as. Now, when I say edit logs, when I say edit logs file system image. So, we would be discussing about we already we have seen when we have studied the, the architecture of HDFS we have seen, but to remind you these are the basic components that you see as edit logs and f s image. So, when I say and also other than this other than this we also have something called as namespace layer and block storage layer inside a metadata. Yes, inside edit logs again talks about the directories and files uh, we will also see what is the role of the edit log and what is the role of the file system in the coming sessions. We already we have seen them, but to have a revision to have an idea metadata is a combination of edit logs and names uh, file system. Uh, image. Now, here metadata again has you know two things in it one is the namespace layer and one is now Hadoop this is namespace layer and block storage layer inside namespace we have you know it, which takes care of the information about the directories and files and it is also responsible for you know uh, file uh, level operations such as creation, modification and also deletion namespace layer has all the listings of different directories and files when it comes to the management and all and we have some uh, and the other layer we have is block storage layer in which we have the uh, you know block level information and uh, replication level information and also the replica placement. Now, here this physical storage we have the last layer that you would be talking about is the physical storage. Now, this stores now this physical st storage stores stores it stores the blocks it stores the blocks and uh, provides 
provides read and write access provides read and write access read and write access so this is a brief introduction of what a metadata consists of now the question arises is when we talk about the federation why do we have to talk about the metadata is the question is the question now we will try to understand that here as i said as i said hadoop federation clearly separates the namespace layer from the block storage layer namespace layer from the block storage layer that means you will have something called as more than more than one name node more than having more than one namespaces or the name source on a 2x version of cluster now what is the bottleneck that we have seen when it when it comes to 1x version or having only a single name node for the entire cluster so now it's a simple difference we have so many other differences but the simple difference is simple difference is let us say i have a name node and we have also seen the typical you know configuration hardware configuration of a name node typical hardware configuration of a name node so uh, name node now the ram can be 64 mb and the processor with xenon with 8 cores and uh, yeah with you know kind of you know the we can have uh, 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 three or four io ports uh, depending on depending on the, the company's requirement now we have the ram now when it comes to name node the entire metadata entire metadata would be stored on the main memory would be stored on the main memory let us say i have five data nodes for the existing name node these are all my four let us say four data nodes for the existing name node now i can store some information i can store some humongous data on this particular cluster let us say this is a cluster let us say this is a cluster now i want to i would be keep on dumping so much of information on my existing cluster i keep on dumping so much of information on my existing cluster let us say now now today today i am doing good no problem cluster is running fine but after few more days there can be the chance that few more files that has to be occupied that has to be copied onto my existing cluster existing cluster as you have a limit for this name nodes ram or the memory name nodes or the memory let us say the entire <coughs> uh, the capacity of the hard disk let's say 1 tb 1 tb hard disk capacity of a name node now if i keep on adding if i keep on adding more number of files more number of files onto a data node now information about that particular files always has to be stored on my metadata of the name node so there can be a chance there can be a chance at one part particular time my ram also may run out of the memory my ram also may run out of the memory because i have been adding so much of data onto my data nodes so in order to have those information on my metadata i always have to think about the ram of the my metadata because the every information that we dump on that would be stored on my metadata and metadata is a part of the main memory 